So we're still going in. Number three, good news. Number three, we should make sure we go easy on it so Paul's don't regret the decision. What is he rattling on about? Win on any of these tracks without going off track for more than one second or complete all three events. So if you cock it up, you can cock it up on all three by the sound of it. Oh, how cross he's got to be. Cup, cup, cup. So you've either got to win without going off track or just do all three. So there is no way anyone should fail these. No way at all. Dynamic. Don't like dynamic. I've just done the short. So I'm going to do the long. Why is I saying that? I said that right at the very beginning. Oh, hang on, we've got a different car by the sound of that. You've been lent a car for this event, you won't get to keep it, so it looks like we're going to go into a different car then. What's well, so we're into the Porsche, that's one of the other ones we can win later on, isn't it? The Porsche and the um, Jag is the other one. A Jag, as we call them. Ah, oh, so we're in a trip in the Porsche, are we? Little taster of um, what you can expect. Never driven it before. Three laps and I've got a win. And it's got no upgrades. So that sounds like you might not be able to win at all. I think they might might have you over here, you know. I don't really want to do three lots of races. Where's that Eric? How many are you? Not you. Or you. You, Mr. Expensive. Oh, hang on. No, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit, and I'm not going to wire him. Because I think we might only do this once anyway. So, we're in a car with no bonnet. I'm going to try and drive nice and clean. Oh, I don't know. Where's that gap? Where's the gap? Oh, I'll tell you what. She's got no brakes, the girl. Shouting again. I'm not liking this car. Only because it's got no brakes. Uh, once I kick these arses up here in a minute, I'll chuck it in a couple of other views. We'll have a look around the girl. In fact, just give it a give it a pit treatment. Just see if she works with a pit or not. I do like pitting people. I can't help it. I'm going to win pretty comfortable anyway, so I might have to enjoy myself. I reckon I should have a little page for each stunner instead of Magnus. Stay behind her all the race. Instead we've got some I mean, it don't even look any it don't even look a good avatar does it? Oh so if we're going to go in the Porsche, I wonder if that means we're gonna have a go in the Jag. Right, this is a view that most of you will be playing in. Be fair, that is pretty ugly in here. These were brilliant in real life. I saw these in real life. They were brilliant to watch. That was at um, Formula One many years ago. And uh, the sports cars, as they called them then, were, if it weren't these, it was very similar. Are oh, you going to troll that old business, are you? Yeah, two who can play at that game. Two who can play at that game, misery chops. Well, I'm not impressed with the brakes of this thing at all. And when I first went into the Mazda, that felt 
nice immediately. Maybe this has got a bit more top end on it because the brakes certainly are not the um, good thing about it. This feel, the brakes are more like the um, what do you call them Australian V8 supercars. Nearly as bad as that. Trying to brake nice and early. Be nice and conservative. I'm on the last lap. That is quite open, isn't it? Nice and open. Quite airy. Can't see a thing behind me, though. Not a thing. Now you think I'll be used to that driving hood view all the time? But for some reason, it just seems a lot worse in the cockpit when you can't see the behind you. Not a lot of the modern cars now have got that nice, ooh, steady, that nice big camera in the middle there. Uh, I prefer the Mazda over this, I must admit. So for those of you wondering what car to get, the Mazda is, in my opinion, better than this, better than this car. Uh, definitely. On first go, anyway. When I very first had a go in the um, the Mazda, I liked to straight away with that. I didn't like it because of the brakes, grips, and all that felt not quite as good either. I'm looking forward to the Jag. British thoroughbred. When you're British, like me, you can't help it. You just like it. Do I service that? No, I don't. If I use it again at any point, I can, um, I've still got a race out of it anyway.